finished styling my teal frontal wig and this color is so so pretty i'm happy i went with this um i put a poll on my insta story a couple weeks ago and asked did you guys want to see a um teal wig first or a copper wig and most people voted for um a teal wig so that's what i went with so um this was my first time working with 613 hair it's a lot easier to get like brighter colors when you start off with 613 versus going with black hair and then bleaching it and then dyeing it from here on out if i want blonde like a ash blonde or something like that i'm always going to start off with 613 hair and then go from there or if i want a colored wig i'm always going to use 613 hair it's just a lot easier than dyeing black and this was the first time i didn't use the hot glue gun method i always use the hot glue gun method if you watch my channel but i wanted to see how sewing was because i just think it just seems like sewing a wig is more professional even though i wore a wig that i made using the hot glue gun method for my wedding so it was like good enough for me um but in the future i think i'm going to start making wigs for other people so not anytime soon but in the future so i wanted to test out the you know sewing a wig and it took so long it took me like four hours to make this wig versus with the hot glue gun method it takes like an hour and 30 minutes or less than that so i think i want to go back to the hot glue gun method um for the most part and sew some of my wigs sometimes that's just that takes up way too much time obviously the hair took very well it just looks so beautiful and it has so many um it has so much dimension to it it's not just one color because i used three different colors at the bottom this color that you see which is like a um like a dark teal this is the emerald color down here and like the medium blue that you see is jade and just like in the frontal area like on the frontal i wanted i wanted it to be lighter so i used the sweet mint on the front um yeah I, and i'll list all the colors and everything that i used for this wig in the description box for you guys i watch larasia's channel a lot because she deals with a lot of colored wigs and i want to do more color on my channel and some good advice she said was to wash your bundles and everything in cold water first because that's going to help with bleeding and everything and i didn't get any bleeding um with my with my wig a little bit of color came off but it was very minimal and then after that little bit of color came off um when i was washing it nothing else came off so um that's a good tip that i picked up from her channel so i think this looks pretty good overall i did not bleach the knots on this wig i usually bleach my knots on like the black wigs that i usually get but i didn't know whether or not i was supposed to bleach the knots on a 613 wig because it was already blonde and the knots were light anyway i would be different as far as the the lace goes i probably would put like powder or try to spray tan stuff underneath just so it would match my skin a little bit more because it does have kind of a light cast to it um even with the powder that i use it does look pretty light but i think this is overall very pretty and um a lot of fun and if you are somebody that's you know bold and you want this kind of color definitely try it out i'm very pleased the hair feels great after i flat ironed it and everything it's very very soft and silky no tangling whatsoever and i am getting shedding because i did cut my west as i was making the wig but um it's not ridiculous so if you guys want an update on this on this hair if you want to see like styling and stuff uh let me know because i definitely want to get some wear out of this wig because it's it's just so i want to get some wear out of this wig because it's so pretty um i want to thank why wigs for sending me this hair to review for you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give this video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys